Hello everyone. I'm Shintaro Iwata from ITK Japan. And this is the Handroid, a humanoid robot hand that I released last year. Beautifully designed, resembling something out of a science fiction movie, the Handroid has many practical functions. Today, I will talk about this Handroid, including its history and prospects. 2011. This is the sixth generation counting from the very first prototype of the Handroid. The Handroid was unveiled and first presented to the public from this version. With this simultaneously developed data graph for the remote manipulation. 2012, Handroid 7 evolved from wire to wireless. You see? The handle mimics the human hand's movement by the 3D motion capture camera. 2013, handle 8 is on the right, handle 7 is on the left. So what has changed? They are very different. We started developing the handle with 3D printers from this version, handle 8. As well as its apparent change, it has also made it possible to trim its weight considerably. 2014, we developed the Handroid 9 with two more axes for the list. Whereas the previous models realized that purely are human hands. Handroid 9 has been upgraded to the realization of a forearm. And now, this is the Handroid 10 presented in 2015, focused more specifically on its practical utility and enhanced its functionality. The concept for the handle is 1. Manufacturable at a low cost 2. Simple design with high maintainability 3. Lightweight to avoid all kinds of risks and 4. To realize a smooth fluid motion. And furthermore, the most important of all, I hope this handle to play an active role functioning of substitutes for human hands in every situation around the world. In the future, it will be possible to be attached to humanoid robots who are used on exploratory robots. It could widen its appeal in hazardous environments where mankind cannot survive or in the space or work as a prosthetic. And now, the handle has evolved further. It has been put on the path toward a higher stage. The newest handle has new joints in the shoulder and elbow. Put simply, now it is a whole arm and a hand. It talks with the operator one-to-one -one basis and enables realistic manipulations. Starting from scratch is exciting, but is full of troubles too. There aren't many problems up to the basic design phase, but once the production phase has started, many unexpected problems arise. The elbow and shoulder that has newly developed are operated by this joystick and the wrist and the hand by this data graph. Now, let's do a demonstration. Have you seen a manually operated five-fingered robot hand hold the electric screwdriver and tighten a bolt? As for the problems to be solved from now on, besides the mechanical challenges, how we should realize the sensing could be one of them. Should it be something like an underwear that sticks to skin? Or should it be operated by a 3D motion capture camera? Either way, 
it must possess high operability and accuracy. Next year, after all those problems are solved, I will come back and show the newer handle. Many other projects have started simultaneously too. We will continue promoting development of the handle to be able to offer some more and better news. I look forward to seeing you again soon.